Hey, hey, welcome back to Snap Bolt Games. My name is Max, and I'm going to be playing another Popper League, and I'm going to be playing Mogwarts again. Black, red, goblin combo. But I have a completely different build from the last video. This is a full combo build. We can never aggro them out. We're just trying to combo. This list is um, actually from who the player who's usually the trophy leader, Biko. Biko Cogdia. I don't know how to say the name, but we've played against them many times. I just say Biko. They uh, are pretty much always the trophy leader, and um, they have some good lists. They've been working on this one, and I do like this build, so I'm going to give it a try. Um, I wanted to shout out, I know I did it in the middle of my last video, but Hamuda was helping me with the first build. Um, so shout out to Hamuda. Go check out Hamuda MTG. Uh, a lot of good popper content there. Um, I'm not sure if Biko makes content or not, but anyway, good player. Watch out for them. They're going to crush you in the leagues if you face them. They're really good. Um, anyways, I actually am a little bummed because I started recording another league, which was a pretty sweet one with, um, the previous build, like with the aggro build with, um, you know, Mog War Marshall and stuff, but there was like loud construction outside my house. I had to toss it. Long story short, this build, uh, seems pretty sweet though. So, uh, let me shout out my channel. It's youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. There's a link in the description below to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Throw a like on this video. Thank you so much. That helps me out. If you want to see decks like this, more cool decks, tier 1 decks, brews, let me know. Um, I am happy to keep making content. Okay. Now let's go through this list and we'll get into some games. So this is a lot different. You're not playing any of like the Goblin Slider, Goblin Raiders. Zero. You're not trying to win by combat at all. You're trying to win with Pyromatics. This is 2 mana instant Replicate deals one damage to any target. Um, so basically, like, you just try to make infinite mana with the combo of First Day of Class, Putrid Goblin, Skirt Prospector, and then you just Pyromatics them out. That's basically the combo of this deck. You have Goblin Matron still to search for search for Goblin, uh, Putrid Goblin or Skirt Prospector. One thing I really like about this deck is it's just main deck for Duress. Not only uh, is it just good at like protecting the combo, just to have four duress main, but it opens up extra space in the sideboard as well to play like extra removal spells. So I really like that. They're also just playing four street wraith, uh, basically just as two mana, two two life cycling, just to like have a smaller deck and combo more consistently, which I like as well. Unearth seems a little awkward with no faithless looting or anything, but I still think it's good. Um, when we have Skirk Prospector, we can sack Matron and then unearth it to get multiple goblins. The second reason is um, they're playing Ransack the Lab, or we're playing Ransack, Ransack the Lab. Two mana sorcery, look at the top three, put one of them in your hand, the other's in your graveyard. So there's some pretty sweet stuff. I mean, this is just like basically like a ponder for two mana, which, yeah, that's bad. But putting two cards in the graveyard with this deck, especially with unearth, is actually pretty good. Um, because, like, what if we ransack and then we reveal, like, Matron, Prospector, Land or something? We can just put Matron in the yard, take the Prospector, and then unearth the Matron next turn and go off. Um, so we're still just a first day of class combo deck. We have the one Tread Memory to either find first day of class or Putrid Goblin. Still have the four Knight's Whispers, but yeah, I like the Quad Duress main. We have a couple Fumes in the sideboard. I had Electricery last time, but I think Fumes is better, especially with more black sources in this list, more black cards. Uh, a Flaring Pain. This one is interesting. I think it's good against uh, Boros Bully or any deck that runs Prismatic Strands. Two A Braid. These are actually really nice. You can tutor them with Shred Memory and they're just nice to have uh, because you can just bring them in if you expect Relic of Progenitus. Quad Pyroblast. I'm trying an Elemental Summoning. Um, it just seems like a nice alternate win. Like if they have a bunch of Graveyard Hate or Double Relic or something, you just go first day of class, they're going to fight over it and then you're like, or maybe they let it resolve, yeah, because like they think they can beat the combo anyway, and then you're just like, all right, get a 4-4, play it. In that same vein, you can just cast Street Wraith, Street Wraith which is nice, but that's basically the deck. Um, I'm excited to get into it. Let's just go round one and see if we can combo some people. All right, welcome to round one with full combo goblins, full combo mogwarts here. Let's go. This hand is totally fine. We have plenty of lands. We have a ransack. We have a Knight's Whisper. We have the Pyromatics and the Matron. I'm going to keep. This is sweet. You can, if you make infinite mana, they can't counter anything because this you can just replicate this a million times. Oh, this is the mirror. 
This deck is so popular right now. It's like the new uh, hotness. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a mirror. Swamp Duress, game one. Again, pretty sure it's a mirror, so it's like gonna be just like who can combo fastest, basically. Uh, just play Caves. Just ignore this Ash Burns for now. I'll probably have mana later to cycle it. Oh, it's not. It's black white, like uh, pox. Or not pox, black white, like pestilence, basically. Okay, let's lead on Street Wraith, cycle. Then I'll probably just Night's Whisper rather than Ransack. Maybe I'm supposed to Ransack first, but I think I'm actually supposed to Night's Whisper first. Okay, there's an Unearth and another Street Wraith. I'll just wait. So we have Unearth. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, so yeah, it's just black, white control, like mono black control, splash, guardian of the guild pack most likely. There's another unearth. Let's cycle this. There's putrid goblin. Okay, so now I just need skirt prospector and of course first day of class. So I can go ransack the lab and cycle ash barons. I can go just play matron for skirt prospector. Hmm. I think I like just ransack plus cycle ash barons here. There's first day of class. Nice. So no second to rest, please. One time. Yeah, now I'll just cycle Ash Barons. And I might be able to combo next turn. Probably not. I need more mana. Because I need to matron for Skirt Prospector. Because I haven't found that yet. Okay, they might have removal. We can find a rest as well. Let's just get Swamp. I think I'm not even going to try to combo here. I'm just going to go Matron, get Skirk Prospector. What I can do is I can actually go play Skirk Prospector. Oh no, I can't sack for mana and then unearth because I don't have enough black. All right, so I'll just pass here. I can try to combo next turn, potentially. They're not doing anything, really. If they're just drawing a card, that's fine. I think I'm liking this full combo version. I mean, it might be hard to kill them through like a couple removal spells here, but I'm gonna try. We have like multiple unearths, so I think we might be able to. Especially if I just start with first day of class. And there's the Pyromatics. Okay. I'm going to go for it here. I feel like we should be able to do something good. So let's lead Swamp first day of class. I, I guess Mountain first day of class. Maybe I was supposed to lead Swamp. Okay, they just let it resolve. Interesting. I don't know if I was supposed to lead with this either. I'll get Intro to Prophecy. Now let's go Putrid Goblin. Don't know if I actually misplayed this. Maybe let's go Skirk Prospector first. Yeah, they can kill this, but then I can unearth. Let's yield to this. Let's go sack this, add a mana, play Putrid Goblin. If they kill Prospector, I can still unearth it once. Okay, they disfigure, so let's add a red mana. Yes. And they could have another removal spell here. Let's go unearth. Target the prospector. Where do I target the matron? Tutor prospector, then play prospector. Is that better? It gets another matron out of my deck, gives me another creature to sack the prospector, but it uses one mana. I think it's not as good. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, they can have another removal spell here. All right, let's just try to make infinite mana. Do they have another removal spell? Okay, they cast down the Putrid Goblin. Interesting. Sack it. I think they were able, they 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 stopped me with double removal spell here. I needed one more black mana. I wonder if I had a line where I could have played Swamp and then had double unearth. I wasn't really playing carefully enough. So it's just intro to prophecy. I was going to say look for another first day of class. Perfect. And then just attack. They still have five cards and a lot of mana, unfortunately. But I still might be able to go off here. Especially with another first day of class now. Oh, God. This is brutal. I might have been able to combo that turn. It's hard for me to think about it. If, if I could have played Swamp and then added one more mana by sacking another creature. Wow. What'd they take? They didn't take first day of class? Oh, they took Unearth? Interesting. It's really interesting. They have three cards left. They can always flash back a Chainer's Edict. Okay, there's a Putrid Goblin. It's so interesting that they... They're at 18. So they took Unearth rather than first day of class. I don't really understand why fully. I think what I like is just play first day of class, play Putrid Goblin attack, get my 4-4. I'm not that close to comboing, I don't want to just give them a bunch of time to draw extra cards here, so that's what I'm going to do. One mana short of just playing a 5-5 haste. But I'll just play a Future Goblin, kind of plays around Chainer's Edict a little bit. I can replicate twice right now. We just basically play a 3-3 three, three, persist, persist Haste. Okay, there's Guardian of the Guild Pack. This is a two-color token, though. There's another Pyromatics, sure. They can probably just kill this with like a cast down or something. I'm definitely in trouble. I can just lightning bolt them for six mana essentially. <laughs> uh, I think I could have comboed. There's the pestilence, but they cannot pestilence for four yet. Okay, there's unearth. Interesting. So I can Unearth Matron. Why don't I just attack with Elemental? Attack for four. No cast down one time. Okay, looks good. So if I Unearth, get Matron. What can I what can I search for? Nothing that great. Still feel like I want to do it. I mean, they can pestilence and like they can pestilence for three here, but then I'm close to just going like pyromatics, pyromatics, because they cannot kill this elemental yet. Let's do it. Let's just get matron. I mean, I could get Flame Wave Invoker to my hand. I can just get another Putrid Goblin to play later to pressure them like for Pestilence. 
can also just get another matron to my hand. I don't think getting another matron really does anything. I think I just get another putrid goblin because it's kind of annoying for them. And then, yeah, they can pass once for three here, kill these two, and then my putrid goblin comes back as a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, they just don't want to do that. That's good for me. I think they know about one Pyromatics. Okay, they Castigate. Sure. What an interesting matchup. Just with them with like Duress and Castigates to stop my combo. I think I might have been able to win, which is a feel bad, but I'm not sure. I might have been one mana short of having double black regardless. So I think I pretty much used all my resources anyway. So I'm not sure. It's tough to say. But they take the Putrid Goblin. Interesting. So now when I attack, they can Pestilence for four, then they go to seven, and then I have six points of burn in hand. Are they just going to Pestilence for four right now? Looks like it. This is an instant. They're going to be going pretty low here. So I have a Putrid Goblin 1-1. One, one. They can't attack. Straight Wraith would be pretty sick. Land. Land is actually not bad. I'll just pass the turn. I need them to not have any ways to gain life here, which I'm sure they have a good number of ways in their deck to gain life. They have the Pestilence Guardian of the Guild Pack combo right now. But I'll fire off a Pyromatics for three, targeting them here. Thorn, sure. I'm still going to target them, because then if I just draw a land, I can just seven them here. Replicate twice. Pay six mana. Same targets, same targets. I think this is the first time I've ever cast this card. I have cast Train of Thought many times, but not Pyromatics. Okay. They draw a card. Land? Shred Memory. What can Shred Memory actually get? Let's see. I'm not going to exile cards from their yard, so... I don't think there's really a sense in putting them to one here. I'd rather Transmute. I guess I can get Ransack the Lab, I can get Knight's Whisper, go to nine. I think that's better than Putrid Goblin. Let's just get Knight's Whisper, try to find lands. There's first day of class and ransack the lab. All right, let's go ransack the lab. Hope to dodge a duress effect for one turn and then win with this. It's so weird to take this land, but then I can deal four damage with this, assuming I'm able to. I think that's my best route to victory, so let's just take Ash Barons. I cannot play it because, yeah, I'm just not going to play it. Actually, is that correct? Maybe it is better just to play it. No gain life effect, please. They draw a card. Okay, looks like we might have them. Don't do it. No! <laughs> no! Gain one! I can't beat gain one. <laughs> I could have taken a Ransack the Lab or a Flame Wave Invoker. Damn, they go to five right now. Needed to draw land last turn. Now I can't... I don't have any more Learn targets. Oh, uh, brutal. Mm. 
Now they can keep gaining life. Oh no. All right, well now, now I can go first day of class into matron into like another creature. So that's what I'm definitely gonna do. Learn, no, because there's no more targets. And then go matron. Am I just getting putrid goblin here? I can get another matron. Play it, and then what if I attack with everything? I just hit for one damage. If I get putrid goblin. I can just play a 3-3 three, three haste that comes back. Maybe just getting Matron play it right now and then set up for like an attack like on the next turn or the turn after. I mean, they do have a Pestilence, but they can't really activate it that well. So let's just do this and then no attacks, I think. Because if they activate Pestilence twice, then... They're essentially at four. My attacks next turn aren't really going to be better, but maybe... Is it worth it to hit for one when they go back up to five? Probably not. I'm just going to get another Matron. Pass. This is so such an interesting game. Again, I can hit them to four, but then they go back up to five. Oh, then they can't activate Pestilence. I think I'm just not supposed to attack. They have a lot of cards, though. They have, like, Chambers Edict in the yard as well. I'm just not sure. Mm. I think this is slipping out of our reach here. I don't think we really have any way left to combo. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. They're at seven. Second guardian is bad news. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to like go wide enough to, to kill that. Now they can pestilence for two safely. They're even attacking. That's pretty aggressive. I mean, maybe they have another removal spell and I just get blown out. Skirt prospector. All right, let's go. They're just gonna be able to pestilence here. Let's go Matron, get Putrid Goblin, I think. Play it. Not going to play Prospector, I suppose. There's no way to play Prospector, attack, and then have enough mana, right? They should Pestilence for two here. They basically wipe my board. I try to hit for one? I, I guess so. They have good blocks here, but I think I'm supposed to do this anyway. Maybe I was supposed to play Skirk Prospector. And they disfigure that. Okay. Yeah, now they go up to nine. Okay. Oh, I, I'm just dead, right? Because I can only Pyromatics for one now, and they can just attack for four. All right. And they can gain two. All right. They got me. I think I might have had an avenue to victory there, and I messed it up. Not really sure. Let's definitely get Reaping the Graves in here. A Braid's coming in as well. Seems good. And what is not good? I mean, pretty much everything in our deck is good. The list is like really tight. It seems like you don't want to over sideboard here. Street rate's not bad because I can just play it. 
I could side out like two street wraith. Can go down to 18 land, but that seems pretty bad. Can side out like one ransack, just because it's a little bit clunky. Could also side out Shred Memory, but that can tutor my upraid. Their deck basically functioned like perfectly there. I don't I definitely want her S. I think Unearth is good as well. Alright, let's try this. Not, maybe I'm not supposed to side out Street Wraith as like a 3-4 and unblockable, but they're gonna have tons of removal as well. Interesting matchup though. I'm kicking myself again because I just it's hard for me to remember the exact board state. And if I could have played Swamp and then had double unearth up and comboed through two removal spells, I should have thought about that a little bit more because that was like really my opportunity to win when I had that turn. Alright. Let's just play Knight's Whisper. I think it's better to just draw cards with Knight's Whisper first and then ransack because Knight's Whisper just draws more cards, but Ransack tutors like one card. Wow, they missed on Divest. That's pretty unlucky for them. They're going to play Bounce Land here? Yeah. I have Duress. I draw Matron. Okay, well, I think I'm still going Duress plus Ransack first. Let's go Duress. They have Fumes, Pestilence. They have two pestilent copies of Pestilence and a Pristine Talisman and a Crypt Rats that I have to combo through. I'm definitely not taking Talisman. Might just take Fumes because maybe I have an out to go off next turn before they can set up a Wrath. So let's just take Fumes, play Ransack, take Putrid Goblin, go. I don't have a first day of class yet. And they drew a Swamp to be able to cast a 3-drop. Okay, well... I can kill this, and then they won't be able to cast a 4-drop, but they will... Oh no, and they won't be able to have Crypt Rats activation up. Okay, so I can buy myself another turn unless they draw an untapped land. So, I think the line is actually to abrade this right now, and play a Putrid Goblin, and then try to find first day of class for the win next turn. I can also play a Knight's Whisper instead of Putrid Goblin, but... I think playing the Putrid Gob Goblin gives me a better out to combo, even though this is technically susceptible to removal. They can play a Crypt Rats and a Tap Land, and or it, yeah, might be fine. Duress. Okay, they take my Knight's Whisper. That's not good. I obviously wish I cast Knight's Whisper now. First day of class? No, not quite. So now they're going to be able to Crypt Rats with mana, with at least one mana available, or yeah, with one mana up, which is going to be hard to combo through. Let's just go Matron, get Prospector. Not going to play it. Play a tap land and then I'll cycle an Ash Barons here. I have the Crypt Rats with one mana available to break up the combo. Makes sense. I think I'm going down here because next turn they can just play a Pestilence as well, which is just brutal for me. I guess I can kill this now. There's first day of class. So I can go off and then get, I can, I can try to go off here. I can try to go off here. So I go land, abrade this. They activate for one. 
And then I go first day of class. Learn, Skirk Prospector, make infinite mana, get intro to prophecy, and then try to find the wind off, off find the wind off this. Let's not misclick here. Yield. There's unearth. So I can unearth matron, or I can just take matron um, and then cast it and get the flame wave and win. So I, I have the win here. Nice. I'm just going to add three mana, show them the, the flame wave, and then that should be it. See if they uh, scoop or they make me combo. Just going to play this so they know about it. Pretty straightforward at this point. I just need to add a bunch of mana. I need to add, get up to like 30 mana. Are they really not of six tier? I can always just like, I mean, there's no way they have a, a cast or like a snuff out or anything. I'm not going to go to attacks to save time. I'm just going to combo out. I, I think I have plenty of time to combo again in, in game three. It's just crazy to me that they're, they're not at sixth. Just need to do this about 20 more times. <laughs> Going as fast as I can. <laughs> are they, uh oh, I'm just misclicking. I was like, are they conceding? They're just hoping I misclick. I mean, also time is reasonable, so it is it is totally fair for them to not concede here. But what's surprising is them just not being F6 because one, they have to click through all of these. I think they maybe they are F6. It's just lagging. Not sure. I need like ten more ten more mana. I haven't used that much of my time. I've only used like twenty seconds. My clock's not going down that fast. So I'm yielding to these triggers. So I think it's taking more time in reality than it's actually taking in my out of my clock. Like I'm still at nine fifty six, nine fifty four. It's not that bad. So I need 32 mana, right? To just fully combo without attacking. One more time. You took me about a minute to combo there, so got to keep that in mind for uh, game three, that I need to combo quickly. That was pretty cool. I wonder if I want more street rates again. It's a reasonable way just to like win by just casting a street rate. Plus, it's just zero mana draw a card. The life is relevant against like Pestilence and Crypt Rats and stuff, but it's not that relevant in this matchup. I can just take out another Ransack because this costs two mana and this costs zero mana. 
All right, we'll do this. I want all the unearths. Definitely want all the duress. Okay, sweet. We just need a skirt prospector here. I mean, they're probably going to disrupt us. But I'll just lead turn one duress. And then I'm not sure what I'll do on turn two. They're on six. Let's see if they mulligan further. This has been a cool, cool uh, match so far. Behind on time. Let's go land. Duress you. So they have a duress and a castigate. Jeez. And a cast down. I mean, they're going to get my first day of class regardless, right? Do I just let them have the cast down? Do I take one of the hand disruption spells or do I take the bonders? I need to make a decision quickly. They only have two mana. This bonders isn't that much of a threat. I think I want to take one of these interactive spells. I think I'd rather just take duress because it's the cheapest. All right, I'll just take duress. So I can play Putrid Goblin and then just let them castigate. I think that's the line. So they can, they'll probably just take my first day of class here. All right, so out of their hand, we just know Bonders Ornament now. I would be surprised for them to take anything other than first day of class, yeah. And they play Radiant Fountain. Okay, there's Flame Wave. Need more mana. I can take a Street Wraith or I can just take a Swamp. I think I'm just supposed to take land. Plenty of time on my clock, eight and a half minutes. So next turn, I'm just going Matron for Prospector, most likely. Would be interesting to Matron for Matron to play around Edicts. There's Bonders, okay. There's another Putrid Goblin. Let's just start by attacking. Now I think I'm just Matron for Prospector here. I could just play another Putrid Goblin, put pressure on them by attacking, but again, I don't think we win most games by damage. Uh, let's get Prospector. So now I just need to find another first day of class, basically. I don't know any cards in their hand. They're just passing. Okay, there it is. So I think I can win. Do I play this Putrid Goblin first and then play Skirt Prospector, then play first day of class? I already even have the Flame Wave in hand as well. I think, I, I think that's the line. I'm just not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to go. Let's go Putrid Goblin into Skirk into first day of class. Let's go Sack Matron, add one mana. I don't know if I need to hold control, but I'm going to, to play safe. First day of class. That was an insane draw, by the way. And then yield to this. Now I can, even if they had a removal spell, I could still make infinite mana in response. Disfigure that one. Okay, well I can sack it for a mana and then I can go for infinite on this Putrid Goblin as well. So let's go sack here, let that happen, let this happen, and then continue to try to go off. They have another removal spell for this Putrid Goblin. That's annoying. So I have three mana. I can play a Flame Wave Invoker. They have one card left. Or I can play an Intro to Prophecy. Might as well play another creature. I can just Intro to Prophecy next turn. Okay. That was reasonable. I think they played well 
and play the removal spells at the right time to stop the combo fully. I wanted to look up the, a card, like if there was a way I can like put a plus one plus one counter on one of my creatures quickly. There's Guardian of the Guild Pack, sure. All right, let's go intro. Do I leave black mana? I think so. Six and a half minutes. We have three mana preordain, and there is a putrid goblin. I think I want that. Let's go bottom, top, pass the turn. So now I just need another first day of class. They're not going to attack. Makes sense. I was going to say first day of class off the top. That would have been sick. Let's go Putrid Goblin. Could just play Skirt Prospect here because then I can potentially just attack with all. I think it's better just to hold it in hand. Maybe that's incorrect, but... They get to draw an extra card. It's brutal. I can also go off at instant speed with this deck, potentially. So now I, if I draw first day of class, I might just wait. Let's go ransack. That was a good draw. Unearth. Okay. It's the only spell I can take, really. Just go take the unearth. I can just get back like a Goblin Matron or a Putrid Goblin. And then I can maybe soon start attacking with everything. Why don't I just get Matron back? For value. Get Putrid Goblin to hand. Pass. Could have also just cycled that on Earth to try to find another first day of class. Not 100% confident. Disfigure a putrid goblin. That's interesting because now they can't draw a card with ornament. Oh, they're going for fumes? Okay, that makes sense. I don't even know if I'm supposed to sack here. I can... Pyromatics for two? Is that worth? I think not, because I can play around hand disruption by just holding both of these. Alright, let's just let this happen. I still have Prospector and Gob Putrid Goblin in hand, so I can still draw first day of class. Pristine Talisman, sure. Five minutes on my clock, that's plenty of time. Mountain. Let's just play out these creatures. Could be safer to hold them in hand, could not be, I'm not sure. I could attack here, but they're just going to block. And then they could disfigure my creature or something. Fumes kill my prospector. Okay. Now I cannot go infinite. Need to draw some Night's Whispers or something. What is this? Evan Carr's Justice with Buyback. Okay. It's going to definitely be a problem. Night's Whisper, perfect draw. And it's not good. Thought we were going to lose game two as well, so maybe I can find a win somehow.
This matchup doesn't seem great, but it seems like it's like winnable potentially. Let's go Matron for Putrid Goblin, play it. I don't have any more Putrid Goblins, that is sketchy. All right. I need to find Unearth as well here. Can start activating Flame Wave Invoker pretty soon as well. Oh, they have, they have Evan Cards Justice. I have no clue what I'm doing. I was just jamming. I was talking. I wasn't really thinking. They're just gonna play Evan Cards Justice. What am I thinking? That was terrible. I mean, it forces them to tap out, but that was really bad. I just spin my deck of cards I actually want. So definitely not that good with this deck yet, but. Again, it's trying to learn. Okay, Justice with buyback. In the land, I'm just gonna, again, start activating. So I can bounce Radiant Fountain or Bog, okay. They're at 16. They're attacking now, okay. It's actually maybe a good sign for me. First day of class. Okay, so let's go first day of class, get a 4-4, four, four, make it a 5-5 five, five haste, attack for 8. It's actually potentially really good here. <laughs> we can win because of that line, that is so sick. Their Guardian can't block the Elemental token anyway. One card in their hands is just Evan card Justice. Pretty close to activating this for the win, and I have double pyromatics in hand. That was insane. The elemental summoning, can it get there? They need actual cast down on my elemental. Most of their removal is not going to kill it here. They don't have enough mana for justice plus buyback as well, and they bounced bog instead of uh, radiant fountain. So this is just justice with buyback. What is this? And then disfigure this? Okay. They have to chump right here because I have double pyromatics. Okay. Nice whisper. So they chump. They have three cards in hand. They're at seven. Do I just go for Pyromatics for three? I don't think so. I want to play around Chainer's Edict if I can. Duress and Unearth. Let's lead Duress, see what they have. Evan Cars Justice, Duress, Bonders Ornament. I just take Duress, right? I have three minutes. Don't think I care about Bonders Ornament. I could just take Avancar's Justice. I don't think I care about them tapping out for that. Yeah, maybe Duress doesn't do anything. I'm just going to take that. Okay, so they're going to Duress one of these. They need an answer for this, otherwise I still have the win. They draw a card. Did we get it? They gain a life. Okay, that's a good sign for me. They have a Bonders Ornament, a Duress in hand, and one unknown. Okay, that, that's game, right? They go to 10. Oh, no, it's not game yet. They Duress one of these. I attack for five, hit them to four, and I need a land? Or no, I have eight. I, I can hit them for four. Oh yeah, so I can only hit them for nine. Five. Eight, nine, damn. One I'm one off. Guess maybe I should have taken duress. I can still play this for x equals four right here. No removal spell one time. So they're just gonna gain two, draw a card. They have a bonders in hand. 
They need like exactly cast down, I think. I guess Chainer's Edict does it too. No. 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 Not like this. Ah, uh, they found it on like the last one. So do I go for Pyromatics? I think so. Replicate three times. I, I, I don't know what I can do now. It was one off. Damn. Thought I had it. Thought I had it with that sweet line. I think they also could have prevented it by just not attacking with a Guardian when they did. Oh? I mean, they're gaining two a turn and drawing extra cards. But I'm hitting for three a turn. <laughs> oh no. It was so close. I have two minutes. I have enough time. Another pristine talisman. That's not what I wanted to see. I need to like top deck another street wraith here. I should have taken Duress over Evan Carr's Justice because they couldn't even really cast that. Damn. I just thought it didn't matter. Okay, let's go. I'm at six now. Do I Duress them? I don't think it gets better than this. I'm going to go to four. Take that. Do I have another Pyromatics in my deck? I think I do. All right, so they can go back up to six. If I draw my last Pyromatics, do I win? I and mean, they can draw two extra cards here. And I'm behind on time. So any cast down Chainer's Edict just gets them out of it, I believe. Pestilence for the win. GG's. That was so close. I think I played okay in this game. I just like had them within one several times in this match. I'm surprised we actually won game two. Damn, that was so close. Long match, grueling. It sucks to lose those. But um, yeah, that was a really fun match. 0-1, let's go round two. I'll see you there. All right, welcome to round two. That was a grueling first match. I'll keep this. It's kind of awkward, but uh, I think it's t definitely a keep. You can just go Mountain, Cycle Ash Barons on one, and then like Goblin, Knight's Whisper, Duress, whatever I want on two, depending on what we draw. We're just a little light on black mana here, but I think that's fine. Forest, Fintorn Elves, okay. So that means the opponent likely cannot interact with us much. I think I'm just playing Putrid Goblin. I could just duress this turn. It's unlikely that they're going to play like a draw spell right now. I can duress the next turn. Let's just get this down. Makes it easier for us to combo if we find like Skirt Prospector we can combo next turn, potentially. All right, so it's Defenders. It's a little bit greedy, but I kind of want to just play Duress here to try to take one of their draw spells. So I'm going to do that. Okay, we got to lead the Stampede. They do have a Drift of Phantasm, so they're the combo version, which is not good for us. But we did take that. I think I'm just going, again, to cycle this Unearth. Yeah, they just took two because it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Get a cycle Unearth here for sure. I want to draw a card. Really tight on black mana here. Tuck Tuck Level 4. Quarian Ranger. They, so they have two defenders out. Okay. Leaf Caller. Or they're just going to transmute right now. Can they? Oh, they can't make infinite this turn, but they can next turn. But they don't have anything to do with that yet. So they just get another drift? Why would they just drift for drift? Maybe they just messed up? Or, or they like to they like to put it in the yard and then they drift 
they keep cycling these and then they get um what's it called uh the storm guard reaping the graves and then they get all the drifts back then they drift with the combo really convoluted but i mean when you have tons of mana it actually works okay we take one Let's see if we can combo before them there's ransack i could just go ransack because it gives me one more out at finding skirk prospector and then let's say i find it skirk prospector play it play mountain and then i get infinite red mana and then i can maybe find a win with my um intro to prophecy i can also just play a knight's whisper because then i just get two more cards that give them an, an extra turn here which isn't good they might be able to win next turn i think i go ransack Here's Goblin Matron. I think I have to just take that. That's all I can do this turn. Just pass. Attacking doesn't do anything. Might as well just stay back at this point. Overgrown Battlement, that's not good. So they can transmute Drift. So they can transmute Drift for Drift again, then transmute for Reap, or they're just getting Reaping now. Okay. They played one spell, they can play two spells. They only need to play, they, they don't need even to play another spell though not sure that they can go off they can get both drifts back but then i don't know if they have enough to transmute and go off here they might i haven't actually calculated it so they can definitely transmute once did they already use korean ranger transmute get freed from the reel Oh, they get Bloodrite Invoker here. Okay. So again, I need to be able to go off here. Skirk Prospector off the top, so I don't have to Matron for it. Okay, so if I go Matron Prospector, then I go Sac Matron, Sac Future Goblin, with the persist on the stack, go first day of class. Then I have infinite mana. And then I have to intro to prophecy to find one of my outs to win. So, I mean, that's the line. I don't want to ransack right now. I'm just going to go for this line. Let's go matron. They're just F6. Skirt prospector. Play prospector. Sack matron. I don't know if I need to hold control here, but I like to just to be safe. First day of class. Intro to Prophecy. So I need to hit exactly a win con. Oh no, I don't. I have Matron. What am I talking about? I have the win. See, I gotta get better at this deck. Okay. So I, I don't need to hold control because unless I yield to this, but I can just yield to it now. Okay, so now I can just play another Matron and win. Nice. We comboed first. See if they make us do it. I don't think they will. Yeah, okay. Sweet. So now, I mean, I can disrupt them with Lightning Bolt. I don't know if I want a Braid. I can also disrupt them with Pyroblast. Because I can kill... Um, I can counter or kill three from the reel with Pyroblast. I think that's worse than Bolt, because Bolt, I can just Bolt an Axeman Guardian. I guess Pyroblast does stop like Freed from the reel on Overgrown Battlement specifically. But I don't know if they're going to be expecting Lightning Bolt.
do I want all the duress? I mean, taking their draw spells is really good. Also, just taking their combo pieces is good, but their their deck is mostly creatures. So I'm worried about just missing on duress. A lot of times they also just go empty-handed. Taking their draw spells is just so critical, though. I think four duress just might be too much. I mean, are they bringing in anything to stop me also? I don't think so. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be siding out Ransack at all. Do I want a braid in case they have any graveyard hate? No. Do I want Pyroblast? You can side out like an Unearth or two and bring in two Pyroblast or something. It seems pretty loose, honestly. Like it's only gonna be good like at one specific point in the game when they're about to combo, but it can just counter free from the real. So if they set up their entire game plan around resolving Freed and then I just counter it, they might not do anything. I'll try it. Just because it's interesting also. I'll keep the street rates just to cycle. Because I don't think my life total matters here at all. Like, at all. Okay, dress and the opening is good. And especially now that we don't have four dress in the deck. Just gonna fire off a duress on turn one, try to take a draw spell or, or something. This hand's not even that great, honestly, but I'm gonna keep it. I could also just not fire off duress on one and I could play duress on two, but I think just firing it off is better. Especially if they play like a land or elf or something. I mean, I guess they could just play a winding way next turn that I would want to duress, so I'm gonna fire it off. I don't need to be stopping on their second main, do I? I don't think so. Yep, that's what this is exactly what I was worried about. They're just not gonna play another Corian. Just play my tap land, I'll cycle in Ash Barons. Alright, there's Axbane. They don't have an upgrade to Tutor 4. They also can't... We, we know... Oh no. Yeah, we know their hand, right? Is it? Do we know every card in their hand? Or do we only know Corian Ranger? I'm not certain. There's Putrid Goblin. Okay, now I can transmute for first day of class. And then now I just need a sack outlet. So I need them to just not find a draw spell, basically. <laughs> uh, classic. Galvanic Alchemist. Which does not go infinite yet. They need one more defender. But then even then they need a payoff as well. Sack outlet? Unearth. Doesn't do anything, right? So let's go mountain. Am I just supposed to play flame wave right now? There's no real reason to because once I go infinite I can play this. So I think I'm just supposed to play putrid goblin. Then I can cycle Unearth, if anything else. Okay, yeah, this is a better line. I also have first day of class up here. Could also just cycle Ash Barons. Another lead the Stampede? Jeez. Okay, so now they make infinite... Oh, they have, they, they have, they have the win now. They have Galvanic Alchemist plus Drift of Phantasms, which, um, this should be the win. Damn. That is exactly, this is exactly what I was talking about, why I don't like duress that much. I know, like, imagine, like, if one of those lead the stampedes was in their hand and we take it. Yeah, that's fantastic, and that can change the game in our favor. But um, when you just miss, and then they just top deck lead the stampede, there's there's no way to duress it at that point. So they they can win here. Right? 
because they can just go play a defender, play a galvanic alchemist. They might not have enough mana. Did they already use? Oh, they haven't used Corian yet, or did they? Maybe they have to win next turn. Oh, they they okay. They can go off, or maybe not. They have one, two, three, four, five. So they can add six mana. Yeah, I think they go off exactly. Or no, they have one extra mana from Caretaker as well. I'll just let them try to drift for their three drop that drains out for infinite. Because I don't know if they're going to fully go for it. Especially because I'm not F6 tier. Another Corian, sure. Okay, they, they even had extra Corians in hand. Wow, four Corians. I don't think I want fumes in this matchup. I don't think that's going to really stop them from comboing that often. So now they go Galvanic Alchemist, and then Transmute Drift, and then win. So yeah, Pyroblast would be able to just counter a Galvanic Alchemist here. Which, I don't even know if it's good enough because they have Reaping the Graves as well. So they soul bond with Axbane. They untap. They make infinite mana. Then they just go. They're just making mana for now. They're gonna transmute. Um once they transmute for the win con, I'll just concede. Yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I can tutor for a braid, but I think Lightning Bolt's better. I'll just keep the two Pyroblast, the two Duress. I know I missed there and it felt really bad, but taking their draw spells, I think, is actually pretty good. Even if it misses and, like, quote, cost me the game there, I think it can also win me the game. It's like a high, high upside, high downside play. Okay, there's the Duress again. Let's not keep this hand. I'm gonna lead. I don't know if I'm. I guess I don't need to lead turn one duress almost no matter what, but I might as well because it's mana efficient. It's more likely that they I hit on duress on turn two on my turn two, but I also again want my mana to either play Peter Goblin or Knight's Whisper or something. <laughs> no, not like this. All right, they have Drift, Caretaker, Leafcaller, Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots, nice. There's Caretaker and a Forest. Lightning Bolt. No red mana yet. Do I play Knight's Whisper first, or do I just get Goblin down? Let's just get Goblin down. It would have been nice to be able to bolt that Caretaker right now. I cannot transmute drift yet. They only have single blue. Oh, I guess I kind of want to save bolt for uh, Axbane Guardian. There's Wall of Roots. There's Forest and one unknown card in hand. Let's go Knight's Whisper, land, attack. I guess no attack. We're gonna need to find red mana here. I think this hand was definitely a keep and they're right on schedule okay it wasn't a good hit though i guess this does oh they already had a leaf color so they already did have enough blue mana they're just gonna play fintorn red mana nice They have double leaf color, drift of phantasms, and blank in hand. So I can matron, but what I really need is, uh, what I really need is just first day of class at this point. I'm just gonna go goblin leave up bolt. I'm not gonna bolt anything yet. I don't believe.
Maybe they drift Phantasm's tutor for Axe Bang Guardian. And then I can just bolt it. Five mana, six mana? Is this just drift for Axe Bang? Yeah. Definitely gonna just bolt that. Oh, lead the stampede, that was smart. Okay. I hit Rebel Fort Overgrown Battlement. I have Leaf Colors to add Colors of Mana as well. Can't really disrupt that. I mean, I could bolt the Leaf Color, but that seems pretty bad. I mean, I could bolt something. Like, I can bolt either Korean Ranger. I can bolt Caretaker. They're going to have like all the mana they want. I feel like I should bolt something. Just slow them down. Is Ranger their best card? Probably. I'm just going to bolt that. They have double Weave Caller, so... Street Wraith. Cycle. Pyroblast. Not right on schedule. Can play Skirk Prospector and get multiple red mana. Yeah, just when you don't draw first day of class, you don't do anything. Let's attack. Could have just not attacked to stay back and block because I'm at 14. So that was probably wrong as well. I can just bolt something, slow them down. Like, what if I just bolt Leaf Color? Or even Fintorn Elves right now. I'm just going to pass. Could have played like Prospector into Matron or something. But I think if I draw first day of class, I, sh I can win. There's Wall of Roots. I mean, Wall of Roots is sweet in that deck. Can I get a match win? Probably not. <laughs> Overgrown Battlement and then Rebel Fort. I can't bolt the Overgrown, so they're going to have the mana from it. They have another Leaf Caller in hand. This card is actually better than it looks because then when they have tons of green mana, they have tons of mana of any color. This just filters green into any color. So it is actually better than, than you might think. Oh, they have a drift here. I feel like they've been drawing fairly well. Okay. What do they get? Galvanic Alchemist? Please get a blue spell. Drift and pass. I can just bolt the rebel fort, but at this point, is it really doing anything? They have another leaf color in hand, unless I'm mistaken. I don't know if bolting this does anything. I'm just gonna have to play my skirt prospector next turn. First day of class. Night's Whisperer. Let's go. There it is, okay. So I lead on Prospector because I need red mana. And then let's go Sack Putrid Goblin, trigger on the stack, can sack this Putrid Goblin, and then cast first day of class, get intro to prophecy, and then I just win. Now I can yield to these. Nice. Found the first day of class just in time. I don't think I need to do anything else. Yep. Nice. Got a match win. Whoo! Jesus. This deck is sweet, but 
oh man, when you don't draw first day of class, you don't do anything. <laughs> it's all about that card. I mean, you do have a lot of draw power, but I'm surprised. I mean, opponent had to mulligan a fair amount. We missed on duresses, but yeah, we barely were still able to combo there. So that was pretty sweet. I mean, 1-2 in a super close first match, and then 2-1 in a really close second match as well. So both matches were really close, and now we're 1-1. One one. Let's go to round 3. All right, welcome to round 3. We're getting sacrificed. I'm not going to keep this Ash Baron's Street Wraith hand. It just doesn't isn't good enough. I don't even have a first day of class. So not worth it. It's Mulligan. This is good enough. Let's keep this. Put back... I can put back one of the duresses. I can put back a Street Wraith. Not putting back a land. Not putting back Knight's Whisper. I don't think I'm putting back Matron either. So it's between duress, Street Wraith. This is a free draw. I don't because I don't know if duress is gonna be even good in this matchup. I'm just gonna put put it back. Especially having another duress. I'd rather just draw a random card. Radiant Fountain Go, okay. Some bounce line control deck, most likely. I think I'm just leading Cycle and then Duress. Okay, there's a there's a win con. I'm a little bit confused also why there's so many pyromatics. Why do you need that? Um when you just just matron for the wind con anyway i mean yeah this plays around counter spells but maybe it's just additional ways to win and you could you can um spread memory for it all right i can take omen or i can take chainer's edict i can play around chainer's edict but maybe omen is just way too slow i'll just take the removal spell i guess so they're just going to go Basilica next turn, Thraven after that. I'm not killing any of their creatures, so Omen, I don't think, really does anything. Another Knight's Whisper, that's good. I could I could have Street Wraith, but I actually don't want to yet. I'd rather Street Wraith next turn, in case they have some type of like Duress effect. This isn't who we played against before. Yeah, it's not. Okay, there's Thraven. They're probably going to play... Radiant Fountain Crack Clue right now is my guess. I have a Putrid Goblin, so I'm probably playing Matron for Skirk Prospector. That kind of t tells them what's going on, but they should probably know already at this point. Cycle, there's a Ransack. I don't want to play this out and have it die to removal. I do still need first day of class, as usual. I could play Putri Goblin plus Tapland, or Ransack plus Tapland. Maybe playing out Putrid is fine. We know they have these three cards in hand and six cards total. Yeah, maybe just Ransack plus Tapland. Another Matron. Or do I take Mountain? I think I'm going to just take another Matron. Pass. Map 15. Again, going to have to combo at some point here. Swamp. Pestilence. Oh, Guardian. Okay. Did not want to see a Pestilence. That's why I said it. I'm scared of it. This doesn't really matter. Okay, there's a Ransack. Why don't I just lead on that? There's an Unearth. Okay, I want, just want to take that, I guess. Now I'll play Putrid Goblin. Because I have this Unearth, so even if they kill it, and I eventually draw my Skirt Prospector plus first day of class, then I can just Unearth the Putrid Goblin eventually and go off again. Oh, no. I think this might have been the player I played against in that league that I had to scrap. There's Basilica. There's the first day of class. Okay, so did this do it? Or do I not have enough mana? 
if I had a matron in the yard, I might actually have, oh no, yeah, I might actually have enough. Or can I still go off? Because I can go play, tap three mana, play matron, play skirt prospector, sack matron. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. I, I have enough. All right, I got it. I got it. So I go play matron. Yeah, this should, this should be game. Yes, I want to use the ability. Get Skirk Prospector, play it. Sack Matron. Because I have another Matron in hand. And then I go Sack Putrid Goblin, play first day of class. Get Intro to Prophecy, sure. And then yield to this now. Yield to this. And then I just Matron again. Get the Win Con. Or I can just Pyromatics as well. Not sure if they're going to make me do it. it. Looks like they are as of right now. I guess I'd rather not show them the Pyromatics win. I'd rather show them this one because they, they know I'm going to have creatures. All right. Got them. Nice. That was just a, a straightforward win. Opponent's draw was just really clunky there. Okay. So... I don't know exactly what they're on. I know they have Pestilence, but I don't know. They should have Bonders Ornament, right? I should at least bring in like one Abraid. Right? I could just bring in both Abraid. I could just not sideboard as well. The rest is obviously great. Reaping the Graves has to be great, right? That should, that should come in. I don't want Lightning Bolt. Do I care about a braid that much? I mean, yeah, I guess they could have Relic of Progenitus. Having one a braid in the deck at least is like nice. Worst case, I can kill like their Bonders or a Pristine Talisman. Okay, I like it. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be setting out Street Wraith. I could just side out Double Ransack, but that's decent as well. Can side out one of the Pyromatics. Can side out. I can side out like one Pyromatics, one Ransack. It's like, it's just so hard to sideboard with this deck. You cannot over sideboard. Okay, let's just try this. Again, most of the time I, I'm feeling like I don't really need the Pyromatics in the deck at all. Like, most of the time I'm just fine to be able to try to find my Matrons and then win that way. All right, we have no black mana. We have multiple prospectors. We have no first day of class. This might just be a mulligan. We have no duress. Like, this hand doesn't really do that much. I can cycle and unearth. I'm just going to mulligan. All right, we have multiple first day of class. I think I'm just supposed to keep and put back. I guess just a street wraith because I want all my lands actually. This hand's slow, obviously, but yeah, let's go. Should put back Street Wraith. I want all these lands. Just having two first day of class is really nice against like the Duress and Castigate and stuff that they might have. Okay, we draw Duress. Nice. That was a good draw. I'll just play into Cycle Ash Baron's end of their turn. Another reason I like this version is because, like, you're not playing any fluff. So, yeah, you have to combo to win, but you're just playing a tight combo package, and then all your other cards just draw cards and try to find the combo, which is really nice. I like those style of decks better generally than, like, aggro with a combo, like, plan, especially when the aggro plan's not really good enough. Okay, I can be mana efficient and ransack, or I can just duress right now. I can wait. I can like wait longer on duress. I'm gonna just be mana efficient and ransack here. Third first day of class or a skirt prospector. Let's prospector. 
because that way I can Natron for Putrid Goblin and then I have the combo. Natron really ties the combo together here. Okay, Castigate. It's what I was worried about kind of, but what do they take here? Matron or Prospector? I, I kind of wanted them to play a Duress, honestly. I think they'll probably take one of my creatures, if I had to guess. They, I guess they could just take a first day of class. Yeah, they take a Matron. And then they just play a tap land, sure. Oh, of course. Of course we draw that. All right, now let's just go Duress, Double Pestilence. Oh, they can't play it yet. Because all their other lands are tap lands. Okay, do I play both Prospectors and just hope? Or do I just play one? And then I need to draw Matron or Putrid Goblin off the top. I'm just going to go all in here. I don't know. Let's go. No one have land. I guess even then I can still win on my next turn. I think playing both is better. Because even if they if they don't draw any untapped lands, they have to go tap land this turn and then play Pestilence next turn and they still can't activate. So I might have two more turns. What I could have done is play one Prospector and then next turn play first day of class into Prospector just to get a 2-2 Prospector, but I, I like this line. Am I supposed to play one first day of class in order to get an intro to Prophecy? I can even play it. I think I... It's like, it's like a five mana preordain and I have to sack one of my Prospectors to do it. That seems really bad, but given the opponent not having anything, so they played a Kabir Crossroads, so this is their hand plus a random card. So next turn they can just play Pestilence and not activate it. So I do want to set up to win next turn, so I think I'm going to do it. Let's go land, first day of class, get Intro to Prophecy, play it. <laughs> oh no, I should attack first. I should attack first. This is like the funniest play. It's like the worst, the most expensive costly preordain I've ever seen. Pay five mana in total, sack a creature, just a preordain. But I need to find Putrid Goblin. Okay. Bottom top. Oh, but now I need a win con as well, because I already used my Intro to Prophecy. Maybe this was wrong, but... Okay. I need them to not have untapped land. And then I need to draw a win con as well. <laughs> Pestilence? Pestilence? Or are they going to play Guardian first? They can also bog me. I wish I had two Intro to Prophecy in my sideboard instead of the one. Because now all I have is Elemental Summoning. If they play Guardian and Bog, I assume. Oh no, they play the Scour Barons. Hydra Land. Damn. So I can go Infinite here, but now all I do is play a 4-4 then. I guess a 5-5 five, five haste. Uh, I have to do it, I think. I wish I had another intro to Prophecy so badly. Uh, it sucks.
take a 5-5 five, five haste, which really is not that good. And then I can attack with everything. Because if they block this, it just comes back as a 2-2 two -two because of first day of class. I guess I can kill... I don't want them to kill my Prospector for free, I guess. I do get in for more damage that way. I'll just attack with both of these. They can just get a free block on Putrid Goblin. I hit for 5. Okay. So now they can Pestilence, but I still have a 5-5 five five that's multicolored. They have 4 black sources right now. They probably should have played Bog this turn, right? Pestilence. They want a Pestilence for 2, I guess? And then they can just Pestilence for two, and then I guess no attack? This is game two, right? Another first day of class. Which doesn't actually do anything. It's funny because I could, I could just first day of class <laughs> and then save my putrid goblin if they go end of turn pestilence for two. Um, but I don't think that's worth it. I can also just use first day of class maybe to surprise haste them. They need another untapped black source to be able to kill this. Okay. Playing first day of class there to save this would have been interesting, but I don't think worth... Yeah, they definitely should have played Bog last turn, because then they would have had five black mana now, and killing that there I don't think does much. Another Guardian? Six mana? Oh. Oh, they did draw a Swamp. So they're just killing me, basically. gonna be tough here because they're gonna probably attack i could draw a creature and then haste it with first day of class try to go for the win that way but it's not looking good if, yeah they don't even attack wow nice play more lessons in the sideboard might be worth like at least two intro to prophecy one elemental summoning is probably worth. Another Guardian now attack for two, and then they can just Pestilence me out. I guess they can't because they're at six, but I can't kill them now, I don't think. Basically have no outs, I think. Matron. So I can first day of class into Matron into like a 3-3 three, three or something. Or I can just Matron for Matron here. Could have not played first day of class here as well. Which would have been interesting. I think I just get matron. Don't know if that really does anything. I mean, I can just get putrid goblin this time. Might as well just get matron, I think. Okay, pass. Yeah, really smart by the opponent to not attack. I think a lot of opponents would have attacked there. They just Pestilence for two. They go to four. But now I don't have haste. So they can attack me down to five. They can't kill me yet. 
but they can kill me next turn, I think. Bog me, sure. Okay. So I can do this for three. So if they activate Pestilence at all, I can win. Four, five, six. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I mean, I could just play Natron to disguise my play, but that doesn't seem good, right? What seems good is just trying to hope they activate Pestilence at all, and then I win. Do it. They didn't yet. All right, let's just see if they do it here. Because they can attack for four, put me to three, and then they're probably going to go for it. Oh, but then they can actually just keep activating in response, right? So I don't think I can actually win. Because they can just activate here. All right. They're like playing so safe. All right. I, I think not playing Matron gave me away, but I felt like it was just too risky. Now they have just like four, five, six, seven, eight black mana. So they can always just like activate Pestilence in response. Um... At this point, I suppose I just pass again and just, I don't know, hope they F6 or something and mess up. They're just going to attack, just never activate. I don't know if I had outs there. Okay, go game three. Yeah, with a third lesson in the sideboard, I might have been able to win that game. Definitely don't want Lightning Bolt. I don't even know if I want a Braid. Might rather just have Ransack. Just side out one Pyromatics, side in Reaping? Sure. All right, I'll keep this end. Double Knight's Whisper, it's pretty good. I'll just lead Cycle Street Wraith because I could draw either a Tapland or a Duress that I would want to play. Pass. I think I'm just running out Goblin on two. I guess I could Knight's Whisper first. I mean, they can definitely have a lot of removal, but I have this unearth here. Okay, there's first day of class. Let's just run it out. I guess that protects it from castigate, but then they would just take first day of class, so it's not like it's that relevant. But I can start attacking with this too. Thought about siding out some unearths when I was playing in game one because they have multiple bogs, but I think unearth is still pretty good. I'm just going to start by attacking. I'm not going to first day of class in response if they like kill this. Definitely not. Let's just go Knight's Whisper. Again, because I could draw a tap land. Don't. There's a Duress though, which is good. They don't play anything on two. Interesting. They could have a removal spell up. So now I can Matron for Prospector. I only have one black mana, which is kind of rough. I might even just play a Knight's Whisper next turn to try to draw a land. We'll see what I draw. Street Wraith. All right, let's start with that. Okay, there's a there's a land okay so now i mean i can just matron for prospector i'm gonna i'm gonna attack and then matron for prospector play land and, and see what happens i think that's better than playing duress here it's just so much more efficient with my mana go 
good art on the matron. Let's get prospector. Play tap land, pass. And yeah, if they duress or castigate me next turn, it sucks. But I still think this is the best line. Just getting my matron down. What do they got? Basilica. They get a balanced fountain and just path with two mana up. I mean, having this duress is nice. We have eight cards in hand. I really want them to just play Changes Edict or something here, but they've been passing with mana up this whole time. What do they have? I have this Unearth as well. Drawing an extra land would be good, but I think I might be able to combo through. Okay, there's a land. It's just lead duress, right? Let's go duress. They've been passing with two mana up all game. They didn't play... I mean, yeah, it's not like Core Skyfisher would be that good with nothing to balance. Cast down, cast down, Pestilence, Spare Supplies. Right, they can only play one one cast down right now anyway because they only have two mana so they've just been passing with cast down up i do have unearth though so i think i'm good to still win because whatever they cast down then i just can unearth it so i'm, I'm good i think i'll just take a pestilence because why not and then i go prospector They cast down something in response. Then I just go first day of class. Wait, do I want to tap this black man? I don't think it matters. Oh yeah, it does. It does. I can't. I can't first day of class yet, right? Let's think about this carefully. Um, because if I have black mana, I can unearth the matron. Okay. Oh wait, but then. But then I'm not going to be able to ever get my goblin back. So, what if I let this happen? Let this happen. Goblin comes down. Then I sack the putrid goblin. It just goes to the graveyard. I add a red mana. Then I unearth it. If I just first day of class right now, this comes back, then I get infinite red mana, and then I can um, then I can intro to prophecy for the win and cycle on earth. So I have a lot of looks. But is there a definitive win? If I go um, if I don't go first day of class right now again. Then that just comes back with a minus one, minus one counter. Prospector comes down, sack it, unearth it. Then I'm still only on red mana. So I think just first day of class right now is, is the play, right? And then save the unearth to cycle. I think that's the line. Oh, wait, wait. But can I save the black mana for something else? Like... Just not play the Unearth? No, I don't think so. Let's just do it. First day of class, get Intro to Prophecy. And then this just persists. Yield to this. Then Prospector comes down. Yield to this. Is there a reason to cycle Unearth first? I don't think so. And there's the pyromatics, nice. I guess that's why you why you play these top. Now I just need to keep doing this. I was just I just made I just didn't want to make a mistake there, and I was trying to like think is there a thing that, something I'm not seeing where I have a definitive win, and I don't think there was. So I need to just make like enough mana to replicate this 10 times. So 
So 22, 20, 22 mana. I'll just make a little extra. Because this they're F6, so this really isn't taking that long. See, this is so much faster than the opponent. The, the other opponent definitely was not F6, or there was some like lag in the previous match, because this is so much faster. This deck is is pretty resilient against removal spells, but again, if you don't draw first day of class or they like duress it or counter it, I think it's weak to that and it's weak to graveyard hate. Alright, so let's just Pyromatics. I don't know, I just need to keep making mana. They just, I guess, want to see what the win con is, but we know their hand, so. I need to make just 42 mana. Then replicate this 20 times. I guess I'll just replicate it 21 times to make sure. Can't always yield to it. Nice. Got the pyromatics win there. That's sweet. GG. Two and one. Nice. I'll see you in round four. All right. Welcome to round four here with Mogwarts. I'm going to keep this hand, I believe. We just need a first day of class. What's new? We can tutor for one if we find another black mana, though. So let's keep. I guess this is just like a fifth first day of class that's really slow. Star. Okay, it's probably just affinity. I have seen first day of class combos that like uh, utilize artifacts, though, as well. Ransack the lab. Let's cycle. Cycle. Swamp. Okay. I think I'm still just playing my tap land on turn one because I don't really need to play Prospector on one. Don't even want to actually to protect it from like Galvas. Okay, it's just Affinity. Nice. Should be a reasonable matchup. They have four Galvast as removal spells. I think I just ransack so I don't have to discard here. Just ransack. What are we looking for? We're just looking for Putrid Goblin, I guess. And first day of class, yeah. It's an easy first day of class. Pass. Next turn I can Matron for Putrid Goblin and then try to go off on turn four, potentially. I can also Shred Memory for Putrid Goblin. Might as well Matron, because then I have another body. Okay, they're just drawing cards, doing the affinity thing. Don't care if they play a 4-4. They don't play anything. 3, 4, 5, 6. I feel like they have a Mirror Enforcer in hand for what it's worth. Alright, let's just go play Matron. Tutor Putrid Goblin. Pass the turn. Just finding all the combo pieces. Basically just want them to tap out for anything. Not that. We'll tap out, play another spell. No, they don't. Deals one damage to any target. Okay. 
They, they can sack a lot of artifacts here as well. Hmm. One thing I can do is I can just play two putrid goblins this turn. I can also play one and play a Knight's Whisper. I have eight cards in hand, so I Knight's Whisper up to nine cards. Go down to eight, go down to seven. Do I want to play both putrid goblins? Then they can sack two artifacts. They sack Wealthbringing Star, kill one putrid goblin. I can also just play Ashburns, play putrid goblin, leave up first day of class. That's terrible. I can't win, right? Because they can just shoot Prospector multiple times with munitions. So I think I like Knight's Whisper and then play the first Putrid Goblin. And there's an Unearth. Okay, so I should be able to go off next turn, I think, through this. I should have attacked for one first, technically, but I don't think it's really that relevant. They might just not activate munitions. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they don't. They can also Tog fling me at some point soon. Witching well. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine artifacts. So if they have a Tog plus fling, I die. They can build a preordain by sacking Wellspring or Star here. Disciple. Okay, that's scary. Can they win? They draw a card, drain me for one. Maybe play a thought cast because they add blue mana. I like that they're tapping a bunch of mana here because it makes them have less munitions activations. And I'm going to try to win next turn. I, ha I have to try to win. There's thought cast. Please just play like another Icar Wellspring or something. They're probably not going to. Okay. Another Pyromatics. So. I think I go play Ash Barons, play Putrid Goblin. Then I play Skirk Prospector. And then I play First Day of Class. Or do I play First Day of Class first before doing anything else? I think that's actually best. Just play First Day of Class, then play Putrid Goblin, then play Skirk Prospector. Do I have enough mana for that? One, two, three, four, five. Then I won't have any more black mana though. I guess that's fine with double pyromatics. I should be able to, oh no, because then I don't have unearth up. What if I just go play first day of class, play Skirk Prospector, and then I have unearth up. And I have extra mana from Prospector. I think I actually like that. So let's go... Play Ash Barons. Play First Day of Class. Play Skirk Prospector. Yeah, I like this the best, I think. Because now I... Yeah. Galvanic Blast this in response. Um, yeah, that's fine. I have an Unearth, and I have another Putrid Goblin, so I can play multiple more Putrid Goblins here. Let's get Intro to Prophecy. Let's play a Skirk Prospector. They only have one mana left. They can respond to the trigger. Oh, did I need to play this Putrid Goblin first? Did I just fuck up? Maybe. Let's just let this resolve. So if they, oh, they could have shot Skirt Prospector there, right? But now they can't. Sack this. Let's go play Putrid Goblin. And I have one more on Earth. They could Galblast this in response right now. And then I can unearth it. Okay. So let's sack this for red mana. Now I can still go off. Nice. Don't know if I took the proper line there, but um, 
it, it, it worked out. This deck can really fight through removal. Now I just need to make like 40 mana and then Pyromatics them. Sweet. I think I played that okay. I could have maybe sequenced a little differently, but they didn't kill. I think it, maybe if they shot the Skirk Prospector in response at some point when uh, the first day of class trigger was on the stack, maybe I don't win then, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't think there's any way to go faster than this. If I could just click Skirk Prospector without clicking the ability, it'd be faster, but it's really not. Does it really doesn't take that long? I'm just gonna get up to forty mana, and then play it. Um, replicated nineteen times for one extra damage, and just because it's easy. I wonder if they're going to have relics or anything. They probably just need to see the win con, but I mean, I could play a smaller pyromatics, but they're not going to concede to that. So there's no reason to show them that I have multiple pyromatics. I mean, this is fun, but it's a lot. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. This is actually enough mana, but. Okay, and then. Target here, replicate 19 times. Okay. And deal them 20 damage and just same targets. Oh, they said I'm conceding if you show the win con. Well, that's the win con. I needed enough mana. I, I couldn't show the win con earlier. Yeah, so uh, there was no way for me to show the wincon earlier without showing them multiple pyromatics. Okay. Could bring in, I mean, I guess obviously I'm bringing in a braid because I can just kill lands with this early or creatures later. Um, Reaping the Graves also doesn't seem bad. They might even have relics or something. I definitely do not want Lightning Bolt, I don't believe. I could bring in Fumes for Disciple. Can just mop up multiple disciples. Seems reasonable. I can always just cycle fumes otherwise. I think I like it actually. He said, yep. Um also do I want quad duress? I think so. I think they have a lot of hits. And I can just like take Galblast, I can take Thought Cast, I can just take even random like prothetic prisms that mess them up. I, I think duress is good. Pyroblast, not so much. Um, do I want reaping? I don't think so. I could just side out street rates here because they do kind of pressure my life total by playing like Frogmites and Mirror Enforcers and the combo. Sometimes they're able to combo for like not 20 damage. That might be a little bit greedy, but I think I like this. I'm going to try it. I think everything else is fine. I'll try without reaping for now. All right, this is a keep. I have lands. I have prospector into ransack, or just tap land into ransack, I guess. Another land, not ideal, but maybe we hit a good ransack here. Furnace, furnace, wellspring, sure. Just gonna go swamp ransack. Okay, it's 
Flame Wave Invoker going to the yard is kind of annoying, but Shred Memory can just find me a first day of class. So I already have a Pyromatics in hand. Island, interesting. I guess the one basic is, is uh, cool. That's actually pretty sick art, honestly. I don't know if they chose it, but the art is actually pretty sick. There's the tog, okay, that represents a lot. So now I can just go mountain transmute. I think that's the line. Get first day of class. Dispel is also just like good against this deck. If you just always leave up Dispel, then you can just like have a hard counter for first day of class at one mana. All right, they're just gonna hit probably for three. They're just drawing a card. Interesting though, they might need more lands now. All right, they hit for three. All right, well, I'm probably just gonna play Fumes next turn. Fumes plus Duress. Let's go Duress first, see what they have. Okay, they do have Dispel and Munitions, geez, and Gal Blast. Um, <laughs> okay, they don't have any more lands. I mean, I can just try to eventually beat a Munitions again, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take Dispel. I think that's the line. And then on their upkeep, I'll just fumes them to kill this. I think that just saves me a lot of damage. So we know they have these four cards. They can just tap out for a Mirror Enforcer next turn. But I think they're going to be too scared to do that, honestly. Galblast me? Um... So that's their hand. Yeah, I'll just still upkeep fumes them because it saves me one extra damage from this. And I know their hand. I guess now they can sack everything in response where they couldn't on my turn. Maybe this is wrong, but I don't think they can kill me here because they can't sack all their lands, especially on upkeep to this. So I think they just need to let this resolve. So we know this is their hand. So if they went sack everything, they just basically get six power, deal me uh, three damage, and then that's only nine. Yeah, nice. They can, again, just play a Mirror Enforcer here. The Galblast target me was pretty aggressive. They have a zero one Atog. Oh, the, yeah, they can just tap four mana, play Mirror Enforcer, but then they. Uh, could die if I have the combo in hand. They just play munitions, not surprising. Pass. Oh, another land is not good. I mean, one thing I could consider doing is just playing Pyromatics replicated twice right now. That just doesn't seem great. What I could also do is just play first day of class, place Pro Prospector at the 2-2, two -two, just see what happens. They might shoot in response, then that takes them down an artifact. And then if they do that, I can still just play my Preordain. It's pretty bad. I don't think I'm going to die next turn, so I think I'm supposed to just wait. Just gain one, pass. Oh, God. Might have to just Pyromatics that. 15. I mean, I'm not dead yet, but I think I should Pyromatics end of turn. Could wait till my turn and then Pyromatics replicated 
two times and go tag a tog twice, tag disciple once, then they have to sack an artifact to keep their tog alive. I don't hate that. I think they're just going to hit for one here. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait till my turn. Maybe I find some way to combo as well. Are they going for it? Do they have lethal? Okay, let's see. So, they can just sack, sack. I'm at 15. Each artifact is basically representing three. So it's three, six, nine, ten. And then fling is lethal. I don't know if this is lethal. What if I just kill Disciple right now? I could also, if I target the Tog right now, they, they floated mana. They can't hit and then fling me. What's going on? They have one unknown card in hand. So they can't sack both of those artifacts and then deal damage and then fling me, right? Yeah, they can't. All right, I'm just gonna let this resolve. Am I wrong? Okay, this is not lethal. They can't deal damage right now, right? This is declare blocker step. They can, they're not going to be able to fling. I think they messed up. Oh, they're flinging. Oh, team your battle rage. Wow, that actually does it. But I don't think I had any outs. I guess the outs was to pyromatics this. No, they just played this this turn. All right, I think I'm dead. Just shits for 14. All right, they got me. I think I like siding off the street rates here. I don't know if it's correct, but let's just run it back. This is a fun matchup. I think this is reasonable for us as well. I, I could side out the fumes now that they know about them. Especially on the play. Just ignore their, their combo. I like it. I like it. Let's try this. Definitely bringing in the abrades. Now that I showed fumes as well, it just makes it a little bit worse. Did I did I get it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I mean this has to be a keep. I just need a first day of class. What's new? Just start running out stuff. I think I'm going to play Putrid Goblin as well on turn two. This also makes them scared of like even tapping out like on two for a Pathetic Prism or something just because they could die. Right, they're playing Witching Well. There is a possibility of a way to build the deck with like Pilfer. Uh, oh, there's first day of class. Wait, can I win? No, right? I need one more mana. Yeah, there is a way to have a turn two win with Pilfer, but I cannot do that here. So I think the line is just play Putrid Goblin, attack for one. I have this Unearth as well. I think I'm pretty likely to be able to win next turn. Let's pass. Turn three win. Can we get it? Please just tap out for a prism or something. They don't have red mana. Star. Okay, they could have Dispel. Uh, don't like seeing that. I don't know if I want to go for it. Let's just go land, attack. They're not F6, it looks like. Yeah, they're not F6. Kind of want to go Ransack looking for Duress. Because I think they have... This spell for this. I could also just matron for another copy of either of these. 
But let's just go Ransack. I don't want to go for it in, into open Dispel mana. Okay, another first day of class. Thank you. That's perfect. I can't... I mean, I can go off at Instant Seed, but then I can't Matron for the win. I could go for it here, force them to use the first Dispel, but I think I can just go for double first day of class next turn. Yeah, let's just pass. Again, I sh think now I should be fine. Okay, let's see. This is end step. So I can... I can make infinite mana here, but then I can't do anything because I don't have the Pyromatics. But if I had the Pyromatics, I could win right now. Okay, this is fine. They're going to Gallop Blast something, and then I'm going to go for the win next turn. Gallop Blast the Skirt Prospector, and that resolves. Just tap out, just do it. Just play a Prism or something. Okay, star and then pass with one mana up, I guess. Sure. So now I think I'm just going to abrade a land right now. Yeah, I like that. Because that they missed a land drop as well. I guess they could Gallop Blast my Putrid Goblin right now, but that's potentially beatable because I have a Matron as well. They did have Dispel. All right, just had a neighbor situation going on there, so I had to step out for a second. I'm back. Let's see. Um, they Dispelled the Abrade. They're probably like wondering why I'm in the tank here. Um, I cannot, I can unearth Prospector still on my turn but then i can't win because i just go make one mana and then i can't first day of class in response i could just play unearth right now but i think it's is it better to do that and use my mana so i can first day of class a prospect i can unearth a prospector attack for two but then they can just kill like my prospector I guess that's okay. All right, I'm just going to do it. I can always matron for another prospector. I can't go off this turn, though, because I'd have to sack my own prospector to make enough red mana. And if I just go sack this twice, then I have nothing left. So, yeah, this is all I can do. I don't know if I was supposed to unearth there, but it, you, I get to use my black mana this turn, and I still have a way to tutor another Prospector. And now I have two first day of class to try to go off next turn with this Matron. All right, they're just drawing cards. It was nice to just be able to lead on that Abrade, and because they're land light, they had to counter it. So now I can beat a Dispel. Don't think I can beat another removal spell, but... Yeah, this is sweet. Okay, this is good for me. They might just be playing... Oh, no. Yeah, they might play another Thought Cast here. They should have tapped differently. They could have announced that Cast Thought Cast, and then they wouldn't have had to play this land. Oh, Drum into Creature or just Pass? Okay, so they could have Dispel, but I can beat that. So I think I have it here. Land... Do I just sack first and then respond with first day of class? I guess so. Let's go sack, then first day of class. So they can't add red mana to kill this. So I should have this as long as this matron resolves. Oh, blue blast the first day of class. Okay, well I have another one. So I let this resolve, and then I play another first day of class. OK, 
get intro to prophecy. Now I can yield to this and yield to this. And then I just matron and get the uh, win column. Nice. That was honestly pretty lucky to have just like so much redundancy there. We did kind of bait with a braid. I mean, they I think they had to dispel, so that was unfortunate. They had a lot of interaction. Galblast, Dispel, Blue Blast, but we were able to fight through all that interaction and still combo. So pretty impressive showing from the deck, to be honest. Three and one. Um, and I think I'm going to be able to get the, the fifth round in in a little while. I don't know, but um, I should be back for round five. If not, thanks so much for watching, but I should be back for, for round five here. So thanks, thanks so much. I'll see you there. All right, welcome to round five. For me, I went and ate dinner, I watched a movie, for you, no time passed, so welcome to Round 5, we're in Dragon 7k, and let's go. Hmm, triple Knight's Whisper, one land, Street Wraith, Unearth, I think this is just not good enough. If we don't hit, we're on the play, if we don't hit a land in the first draw or second draw, we don't do anything, and even if we do, all we're doing is just playing Knight's Whispers. Let's just mull. All right, zero land, going to five. They kept seven. Oh, God. This might be a quick one. <laughs> I don't think this is even a keep on five. Like, what five are we keeping? Swamp, Duress, Unearth, Matron, Putrid Goblin? That doesn't even do anything. All right, let's keep this. Because I'm on four, I could just put back duress and just hope to to get there. I think that might actually be the play. I'm putting back Swamp Mountain and, and duress, I guess. I mean, this is going to be rough. Sucks. Uh oh, might be up against his Boros. Okay. Prospector. If I draw a land and I can Matron for Putrid Goblin, I still might be able to win if the opponent has no interaction. Lightning Bolt. Okay, well, I'm in trouble. I still think I was supposed to play Prospector. Wow. Okay, I still might be able to win. With a land, I can Matron for another Prospector. And then first day of class. Okay, well, we're getting crushed here. I mean, they had a good good seven, and we were on, I mean, a good four, but we're not really functioning here. All right, it's just Boros Bully. And we don't have the good uh, Skirk Lieutenant or whatever, the, the two mana, two one. The plan with flaring pain. I'll, I'll go over that at the end, but we don't have a flaring pain to counter um, prismatic strands in the side. Yeah, we're just crushed here. Battles for each. They're playing hot, getting three more hawks. A discarded seeker. Interesting. I wonder if they have more interaction here. I mean, I can take Prospector, or I, I mean, I kind of need to take land as well. I think I just need to take land. I don't think I can win this game, but I'll, I'll keep trying because maybe that deck doesn't have that much removal. If I just get lucky, like it doesn't matter if they gain life or deal me damage here. If they don't have interaction and I'm able to eventually set up the combo, I can just win. If they have strands in the yard though, Oh, they discard Plains Hawk, okay. Flashback Battle Screech, sure. And I'm going to be dead in like a turn or two, that's the problem. 
All right, let's go matron, get prospector. I mean, again, opponent had bolt into journey. I mean, we would have had, we would have been able to combo on a mulligan to four with no interaction, which is pretty decent. And opponent's just like doing random stuff, but they're not really killing us that fast. All right, I'll just take here. Another pyromatics. So I can prospector into matron, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I can just matron get another future goblin and then again if opponent has no interaction and we survive then i think we can win next turn because we have these pyromatics so we can deal infinite assuming no interaction from the opponent so we still might be able to win again they probably only have like four bolt maybe two journey adds interaction that's it i mean i guess they could have uh rally but now they can't even cast rally so they definitely could have lightning bolt here let's see three four five six i go to seven i'm just gonna take this gives me more mana with prospector okay so i need them to not have lightning bolt can i lead duress might be fine here let's see i go duress into prospector Into Putrid Goblin, into First Day of Class, Infinite Mana, into Pyromatics. I mean, this might do it. If they have Double Bolt, I don't think I can beat that. If they have Single Bolt, I can beat it. Okay, it's just Single Bolt. Okay, so I just take Bolt, and then I think I win. Let's not mess this up, but let's go Prospector. They have no interaction, right? Hawk, Hawk. Seeker, Journey, Planes, Looting. Nice. So let's go Putrid Goblin. Sack Matron. Sack Goblin. Cast First Day of Class. Get Prophecy. And then this should be the game. Wow, Mold of Four. Now I just need to make like 50 mana basically. I can say I have the pyromatics, but I don't usually like to do that. I usually like to just combo. But wow, pretty incredible from the deck. It was a good four, like I said, but we just Fought through three pieces of interaction to still combo. Opponent's draw also wasn't that fast. So I just need to get up to, like, again, 40, 50 mana here. Nice. So again, I don't think they can play anything, so I think this is just game. I do really like this version of the deck compared to the other one. I like the dress. I like just the full combo package. I like how you can draw more cards and find the combo. I'll just go to 50 mana, I guess, to be safe, and then replicate 24 times. It doesn't, doesn't matter, but just easy this is sweet we have multiple pyro uh maddox as well so if anything were to happen we'd be okay and they don't have we could actually beat strands here from the graveyard because we could just play multiple we could play the first one oh
Yeah, I just don't want to not have enough mana and show them like multiple pyromatics. So I just do this. Replicated 24 times. Okay. I mean, yeah, they said show. They can concede if they want. But if they don't want to, I'll just I'll just play it out. Okay. I might have clicked reveal hand, I'm not sure. I didn't mean to. Okay, fumes is good. Oh, I do have I do have the flaring pain. I have flaring pain, but I don't have um I thought I didn't need that again. Two mana two one, and then it says whenever it or another goblin dies, you can pay one red and two colorless, so three mana total. And then if you do, you reveal the top card. If it's a goblin card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into the graveyard. So what you can do with that is you can tutor with Matron, and then you make infinite mana as you're sacking creatures. So you can activate infinite times. And then you just keep putting cards into the graveyard or goblins onto the battlefield. And then eventually you mill Flaring Pain, flash it back, and then kill them. Um, so... I think it is worth it to have one of those. I didn't realize I would need that, but I'll run it for the next league if I play this deck again, which, I mean, this deck is sweet. Might do that. Um, what do I want to side out here? They don't have that much interaction. Duress is okay. I mean, I definitely want Flaring Pains and Fumes. I don't think I want Lightning Bolts or a Braids. I don't care about like life gain from the two mana two two. That was pretty sick on the mold of four, and then to combo through all that interaction. I could just side out some street wraiths like usual. I don't think I need to side out unearth. I can side out like one ransack, two street wraith. I think shred memory is good. Because I can also just exile four cards from their yard, potentially, which could be pretty good, actually. Hmm. I can just side out Triple Street Wraith, because they can present a reasonable clock against me. I'll just do one Ransack, two Street Wraith. I don't know why. Just, it feels, feels like it's fine. Could board in Reaping as well, but... I guess the card they could have would could be like Electricery. I think this matchup's actually decent because they don't have that much interaction. Hmm. I mean, we have a Duress, but that's all we have, really. Like, we have turn one Duress, turn two Cycle on Earth. It's in no red mana and no first day of class. I think I can just do better than this. All right, this is better. Let's keep... I can just put back a Pyromatics. I can also put back a land. I mean, having this is decent, right? Allows me to combo off with potentially like one less piece. I think I'll just put back Mountain because now if I draw even one more land, I'll be fine land-wise. But I think keeping this is good. I can also just ping down some birds or something. And I did want to keep Swamp Over Mountain there. Do we have the Strands? Are they going to discard it? Battle Screech Strands plus Thraven. Okay. So they do have the Strands. But I can also beat that with multiple Pyromatics. Like if I draw another Pyromatics, I can beat one copy of Strands by like going infinite, play one copy of Pyromatics, they play strands, then in response to that, I go off again and then play another copy of Pyromatics because it's an instant. This card is this card is sweet. All right, there's the fumes. So they get hawk and got three hawks. Okay. I think I'm just playing. I guess I can play Swamp first and then play Ransack. There's Duress, Street Wraith, Land. I could just take a free draw in Street Wraith, or I can take Duress. 
I could also just take a land. Doesn't seem great. I think I'll just take a random draw over these. I'll just run out Prospector, pass. I don't need to Street Wraith yet. I don't think I can just Street Wraith next turn. We know they have three Hawks in hand. They're going to Bolt Prospector. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Two Hawks on the battlefield. I'll wait on this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just run it. Cycle. Another land. I don't hate just going fumes right now. They have two more hawks in hand, but then I save a bunch of damage. And then what do they do? They're going to just replay a hawk or two? That doesn't really bother me. I think it's a good time to do it. Let's just go. Don't know if I needed to play it now, but I don't hate it. Play another Prospector. Now I might be able to make, do some line of like Matron into Sack Matron, Unearth Matron or something. Okay, they just flashback looting and then they discarded Screech and looting. So they do still have strands in the yard. Okay, so if I go Matron, Get Putrid Goblin. I don't have first day of class, I guess, so there's no rush to Matron. But is it still better? I think I'll just lead on Ransack. I also have this Unearth that I have to keep in mind for this. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. So now I'm just taking first day of class, binning the Goblin. I think I can actually just go off here and win through Strands. If I'm not mistaken, so I take first day of class and I have flaring pain in the yard. This is insane. I think I actually win. Because now I go unearth putrid goblin and then sack it and then first day of class, make infinite mana, matron. Yeah, it's just game. So let's go unearth. This deck is, is actually really good. I'm surprised at like how good this deck actually is. So it's Unearth Putrid Goblin. And then go Sack Goblin. Play first day of class. Get Prophecy. And yield to this. Yeah, and then Strands doesn't even do it here. Because I can just Flaring Pain at any point. It's crazy that I found the Flaring Pain. That was just so lucky. Matron. They just concede because I have Flaring Pain. Wow. That was really impressive. 4 1 with the deck. Um, I definitely owe some thanks to Biko for the list. Shout out to Biko. This list is sweet. List seems great. I think, um, let's see. Yeah, Skirt Drill Sergeant. This is the card I was talking about. Two mana, two, one. When it or another goblin dies, I can pay three. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a goblin permanent card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your graveyard. So if you tutor for this against strands, you can just matron for this, make infinite mana, and activate, mill your entire deck. Then you'll find the flaring pain. Then you flash it back, and then you win somehow with like this or something. Um, but yeah, I think it's worth it to have one. I think two Pyromatics would be fine. Maybe this was the list. Honestly, the, the screenshot of the list I looked at was like cut off right here. And I was like, I don't think I need Skirt Drill Sergeant. I think it's three Pyromatics. <laughs> so I wasn't even sure. But we were still able to get the 4-1. We did get really lucky in that last in that last league. But yeah, 4-1 with the list. Um, honestly, it wouldn't change anything. I don't know if I need these bolts, but it seems good. And this list is is where i want to be this list seemed really strong um and i felt pretty comfortable with it honestly i felt more comfortable than the other version mog war marshal plus like the village rights package 
in the other list I just felt like wasn't as strong. Like, I don't think I won... I think I won, like, one or two games by, like, attacking. And I think mostly you do want to just focus on the combo for the win. And I think this type of build with the rest main is, like, is where you want to be. I might even consider just, like, running this in the challenge if I if I play in the challenge tomorrow. But my channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. I had a great time in this league. Mogwarts is super fun. Got the 4-1. Pretty stoked on that. Thanks again to Vico for the list. If you like my content, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. You can ring the little bell if you want to see when my new videos come out. I have a new video every day on my channel, youtube.com slash snapple. Thank you so much. Peace.